Hey guys, this is for you today. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how you can get uh, free PDF files of your book and uh, use it on your iPod Touch, iPhone, or iPad. Um, now, I'm not going to be showing you any stupid Mediafire download or Mediafire link or any of those stupid websites. But today I'm going to be showing you the exact direct way to find the direct exact link of a PDF file. Uh, you'll see what I mean. So um, go ahead to go to uh, Google um, and type in the name of your book. So I'm going to use Harry Potter and uh, uh, I'll use Half Blood Prince actually. Half Blood Prince. Now after you put in the name of the book, do the following: put file type colon PDF. Now you might have heard of this trick, but what it does is it finds you on pages um, that have the exact PDF file uh, related to Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince and uh, usually they do have the whole book so as you can see just uh, find which one is the whole book and as you can see this looks like it's the whole book because there's 427 pages so all you have to do is file save as and you save it um, you can make a folder for your PDFs I have done so. Um, as you can see, it's EPUBs, and we're going to learn what that is in just a moment. So, and uh, Half Blood Prince. Now you can just save it. Um, now, to use it on your iPad or iPhone, you might need to convert it to an EPUB depending on what book you use. Um, so you might use iBooks, which is the um, uh, Apple uh, book reader, or you might use Stanza. I much prefer Stanza because it's so much faster, quicker, and so much easier to use. So um, usually I import my books to Stanza, although I do have iBooks downloaded. The, um, the type in iBooks, it just doesn't go as fast and smoothly as uh, Stanza does. So I'm just going to be showing you how you can import it to Stanza. So um, basically just go to uh, two e uh, uh link in the description. Very, very reliable site and browse for your uh, book that's a PDF. If you only if you using it in Stanza. If you want to use it in ebooks, do not change it to a EPUB because I don't think uh, iBooks reads it and uh, I don't think Stanza reads PDF so uh, basically find that I think I spelled that book wrong I put how broad prints uh, uh, you can pick up to five files and then after you're done just click upload files it's not gonna take too long yeah it's gonna upload it and then basically you put in the title that you want. As you can see, I accidentally misspelled it, so I'm just going to put the true title now. Harry Potter and the uh, Blood Prince. Now, you can also put the author if you want, because it just makes it a little easier when you find it on Stanza. So I'm just going to put J. Rowling. J.K. Rowling. Now, you can just leave encoding alone. And basically just convert it to EPUB. Doesn't take that long. And uh, it's going to convert it. Now, remember, EPUB is not a file supported by Windows. So when you uh, f uh, get the file, finally, EPUB file, uh, Windows might not be able to read it, but that's okay. So it's just going to take a few moments. All right, after it's done uh, converting, you're going to get this uh, thing. You are now on step three, and here is the file. Now, this is what you have to do. You can't click anywhere else. This is exactly what you have to do. You have to right click and you have to click save target as. Now, as you can see, the save as type it's an EPUB file. Remember, Windows doesn't read it. So, um, basically, I have a file for my uh, EPUBs and my uh, <coughs> PDFs. So, I'm just going to uh, put it in there, and I'm just going to put Harry. Potter and the Half Blood Prince. Uh, yeah. So, um, save that. Not gonna take too long. And it's done. Now you can import it into Stanza. And, uh, 
If you want proof, I'll open it up right now for you. Um, there's the uh, half blood prints. So you can also read it on your computer if you want. Yeah, thanks for watching.